Hey everybody, welcome back to Creating Scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, we are continuing. This is kind of related, but it's kind of a, a kind of saw, saw a squirrel. So um, we are continuing with our 5 Alpha 1 Airport uh, tutorial series. Um, the next one will really be on ground textures. But I'm trying to get some models ready for that series plus for the airport itself because I'm actually working on the airport and I'm getting ready to do some texture stuff so basically what this video is is it's kind of a revamp of a previous video I did about creating composites for um, textures for PVR textures using Krita all right but I've kind of fine-tuned my process a little bit, so I'm going to remake that, uh, remake a video on a little bit more smooth way to do it. All right, using Krita. If you guys don't have Krita, um, it's a Photoshop clone. Uh, doesn't do 100%, but it's pretty darn close, and it's good enough for what scenery people do um in my opinion it is open source free and there's a link in the description of the video to find that so i am working on the fbo for five alpha one airport which is the norwalk huron county airport in northern ohio and i'm working on the on the brick and i put this brick in as a kind of a placeholder uh, this brick is a little bit too dark, all right, and it's actually not really that pattern either. Uh, it has a uniform pattern. It doesn't have the small brick. So anyway, I digress. This is about using Krita for making a composite, all right. Now, you might think this is clunky, but it really isn't. It makes sense the more that you do it, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm, we're going to open up Krita. And I'm also going to show you the textures. So this is the brick texture that we're going to be pulling. And I've downloaded this uh, texture from, I believe it is, please hold, let me make sure I got that. Yeah, this is from ambientcg.com. I, I have so many different texture places that I get my stuff, so sometimes I forget which ones I'm using. All right, so this is from ambientcg.com. It's in the description of the video as well, free textures. All right, and we're going to be pulling this uh, more or orangey brown uh, brick. All right, so... The one thing that that other texture didn't have, didn't have an ambient occlusion. So um, this brick allows me to show you how to add in the other layer as well. All right. So I'm going to be working in this file folder. So I'm going to bring up, oh, I forgot to do one thing. Sorry. Uh, that's the problem of doing this live. I have to make sure that this is, yeah, this is a 4K image, 4096 square. All right, so we are in Krita, and I am going to hit a new, I'm going to create a new file and make sure that that is 4096 square, and I'm going to reduce the um, resolution uh, a little bit. We don't need 300 DPI. You might want to, but I, I don't for a lot of these. So we're going to create a new image. So now we have a blank image. Okay, and then we're going to come over here to the layers. It always starts with a background layer. Uh, you can set you can set that if you want if you want more than one layer when it creates, but that's in the settings for Krita. So we have a new image with a background, and I'm going to come over here to channel. And we notice that we have the blue, green, red, and alpha channel. All right, we need to separate the blue, green, red, and alpha into separate layers. Okay, don't confuse channels. We need, we need layers that has the red, blue, and green, and the alpha, right? 
all right so what you're going to do is you're going to come up to image and you're going to separate image and you're going to separate the current layer which is the background because we only had one layer and you want to check create separate separation from alpha channel so you should only have two radio buttons select the current layer and the create separate separation and um, then you're going to hit OK. And you'll see it do a flash a couple things. Now if we go over to layers, I now have layer background, which is the one we started with, which we don't need. So we'll just go ahead and turn that off for now. All right. But we have now a blue, green, red, and alpha layer. Okay. Even though we have channels, but these are actual layers. Okay. Now. If I show you in Krita, and, and I'm this takes this long because I'm doing the video, but once you get used to this process, it doesn't take long to set it up, okay? But if you notice, if I come over here to the blue layer, I'm in layer now, and if I right-click and hit property, notice that it has gray and alpha, all right? All of these layers have gray and alpha as the property, all right? What we need to do in order to start moving our images to create our composite, we need to convert each one of these layers to RGBA. Okay, so I'm going to click a layer and I'm going to come over here to layer and I'm going to convert and we're going to convert the layer color space and we're going to choose the RGBA. Okay, the red, green, red, green, blue and alpha and then you're going to hit OK. All right, and then we're going to do the same to the green, the red, and the alpha. Well, the alpha is a little different, but we're going to go to the green. We'll go to layer, convert, color space, change that to RGBA. Hit OK. Do the same with the red layer, convert, color space, RGBA. Now for the alpha, whoops. I didn't okay that one. There we go. For now, for the alpha layer, we don't need to convert to a, a color space. We only want the alpha channel. All right. Now, we are going to come back to the blue, and we'll get back to the alpha here in a second. We're going to go back to the blue. Now, if we go over to right-click your mouse and go to properties, now we have blue, green, red, and alpha. Remember that said gray before. All right, so for the blue, we're going to turn everything off except for the blue. For the green, we are going to right-click properties, turn everything off except the green. And for the red, we're going to right-click properties and turn everything off except for the red. And for the alpha, right-click properties notice that it's gray and alpha we didn't turn this into a color space an rgba color space because it only needs the alpha so just turn off the gray and leave alpha and click ok this image is now set up to receive copies of other images and built the rgba for for that particular texture all right i'm going to pause here for a second needed a drink of coffee all right now the next step is you need to bring the images that you want to put into this new composite so we're going to go to file and we are going to open and we are going to migrate see this is the this was the last brick that I used but it didn't have an AO an ambient occlusion it only had the roughness so I had to make a blank uh, ambient occlusion and a blank metallic all right but this particular image that we're getting ready to use does have an AO so we're going to use it so I'm going to go back to textures and I think this was brick 80A and it should be right here all right now we're going to select the ambient occlusion I'm going to hit can hold down the control key and I'm going to select the roughness. All right, there is no metallic, so that's okay. Um, 
So we're going to hit open and it's going to open both of those images in Krita where they say not okay not saved is the image that we're working with here's the ambient occlusion and here is the roughness all right so let's go to ambient occlusion and ambient occlusion is always on the red channel right is that right rgb yeah all right so we're going to hit with in the ambient occlusion i'm going to hit control a and that selects everything and then control c then I'm going to come over to the image that we're creating, our comp image that we're creating. And I'm going to select the red layer as my active layer. And I'm going to come over to edit. And we're going to paste what's in our clipboard into the active layer. Okay, so there we have the ambient occlusion on the red. All right. For the green is the roughness so I'm going to select the green layer and then I'm going to come over to the roughness and I'm going to do my control A my control C go back to our comp layer make sure I'm on the green layer I'm going to go edit and I'm going to paste to the active layer so now we have the blue we have the red layer right here and we have the green layer the blue layer is the metallic all right now if you notice by default Krita will create a white image for a layer when you create a new image right but white in metallic is mirror okay it's really 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 shiny and brick is not shiny right so I want to change this to a flat, non-shiny um, uh, metallic. <laughs> there's no metallic, okay? <laughs> so we're going to make it black. That means there's no shiny whatsoever, okay? So I'm going to select the blue layer. And with my blue layer selected, I am just going to make a box around this whole image. And I'm going to come up here and make sure that my active color is black. And I'm going to go to the fill bucket. And I'm going to make sure it's 100% opaque. I'm on the blue layer. And I'm going to click inside that box. And now we have a black or not shiny metallic layer. You with me so far? Good. Am I with me? I have no idea. Alright, so we're going to come to select. I'm going to deselect my my selection box all right now for all intents and purposes we're done with the ao and the roughness of our um the images that we use to bring in okay now it automatically puts the alpha channel in there all right so let's double check if i Turn off the blue and the green. Here there is my uh, ambient occlusion on the red channel. And there's the green for the roughness. And again the blue was just the was the black that we painted the metallic with. Alright, now it's getting ready to export. So we're going to turn all the layers on that we need, which is the red, blue, and green, and alpha. Make sure your background is turned off, okay, because that will mess it up if you leave the uh, background on. Now all I need to do is go to File, Export, and go into the file folder that you want to save that, which was Brick 080 Alpha. And we're going to save this right here. I'm going to, I'm just going to click on one of these for now, just so I'm lazy. And we are just going to use this name here. And usually I name those A, whoops, not A, 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 O, R, M for ambient occlusion, roughness, and metallic layer. And I'm going to save that as a PNG and hit save. And then I'm going to accept the compression defaults. 
because I've usually never had any problems other than that. Then we're going to get out of Krita. And the next, we're going to replace this texture with our new one. Oh, I forgot to do something. Very important to do this. So I'm going to go open my Bricks 80. Now I'm going to go into my project folder, which is MS Projects, uh, Scenery Projects, 5 Alpha 1 New is the one I'm working on. So I'm going to go into the package sources for that, go into my models, and I'm going to copy the textures that I need into the textures of my model lib. Okay, so I'm going to select the color. I'm going to hold the control. I'm going to choose the uh, normals for the DX version of the normals. And I'm going to choose my new AORM image. And I am going to right click and drag those into my texture folder. Release. Copy those. And then get some windows out of the way here. Alright, so now we have our textures where we need them in our textures folder in our model lib. And I'm going to select this. I've already unwrapped. Uh, I've always I've already UV'd unwrapped. All it is is a, is just the process of changing the images that I'm using. So I'm going to go to the UV editing. I don't have to do it in the UV editing. I'm just going to. All right. So here is what we have selected. I'm just going to hit A just to make sure that I have everything right. And I'm going to come over here to my properties. And I'm going to notice that we have Brick 05 right here. So I am going to get rid of this. And I'm going to open the new images that we have been using. So I'm going to, for the base, I'm going to use the color. We're going to open that. So there's our more orangey brick. And I am going to open the AORM file for my ambient occlusion roughness and metallic. And I am going to get the normals for the same thing in my textures folder. So there's the normals and we're going to add those. So now we have re I've replaced that dark brick with the brick that kind of looks like what the building really looks like. So I'm going to go back to layout view and just kind of inspect and see how this looks. Okay. Now I can fine tune my UVs. Okay. To make that the these match on the corners a little bit. So we'll go to UV. And I'm going to kind of come over here and I'm going to move the back wall because the this this wall has many polygons. I'm just going to move this back wall. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to zoom in kind of scoot over here and I am going to G Y. Hold down my shift and just move my bricks where they kind of match a little better. I don't know. This is not going to be perfect, but something like that all right so you'll need to fine tune okay let's see yeah see that's not lined up very good but i'll for my final version i'm going to come back in here and make that better but anyway the whole video was basically how to create that comp layer using Krita. all right process is different for gimp it's different for um photoshop I think Photoshop might be a little easier, but uh, that's how you do this in Krita. So if you want free software to use, you can use GIMP, or I like to use Krita because it has more power than GIMP. All right. So, hey, if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell and share this video comments give it a thumbs up if you like it and if you guys feel inclined to support my channel. Uh, 
please buy me a coffee.com slash my physical world and i will see you guys on the next video in our series of making an airport we're going to be doing some ground stuff i'm going to I'm making some models for future videos of that series. Um, but the next video, we're going to be adding some ground textures and things like that. So I will see you guys in the next video. See you guys later.